Welcome back, travelers of the Slaughter Havoc here, and we are back <clears throat> playing a little Subtech Ages. And when we left off, we had just got our Necronomicon starting to charge up. And did I put it back? Oh, no, I hung it up. I was like, I just grabbed the thing. It's fully charged up to 5,000 PE now. <clears throat> and when I went over there to grab it, because it's been a little bit, that island looks like it's slowly turning into a Abyssal Wasteland, or whatever you want to call it, the Abyssal Land. Um, I don't know if the biome actually changes or if just the grass changes, but I'm assuming the grass color changing means it's changing. But yeah, I got some slog ooze from that slog, but it's okay. You know, <clears throat> we got our, we got our 5,000 feet. Oh, we did, did it change? I didn't notice the sky. Did the sky change? It did. So it does change this into abyssal. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So we're just kind of picking up right where we left off last time. And that was trying to get to the beneath to secure basically accomplish the next couple quests because everything is pretty much done except for heading to the beneath getting some aquamarine as well as some black quartz and i'm assuming that's going to open up a few more things for us to do but i'm feeling like we're getting some good progress like i, I kind of told you i'm really really enjoying this pack and i really want to kind of go with the long haul in this one which is why i'm taking the time to actually do some you know legitimate building for the most part and not just having like a hole in the ground or whatever and actually trying to create a world that uh, this all encompasses and you know kind of developing from basically the caveman days of the wood age and then trying to develop into the stone age which i kind of consider where we're at at age one is like the stone age since i'm still using stone tools and i've got nothing better to use right now um <clears throat> and i figure the next age will be kind of like the bronze age since we do got bronze now and, you know, just kind of trying to keep everything themed while we develop like that. So, yeah, that's basically what we've been doing. So, in the meantime, I did... Oh, I want to go grab some cobble to fix my tools. I did go back over to the Corellium Infested Swamp to get more Corellium. And I found some interesting things while I was over there. So, I got a lot more Corellium, almost like two stacks of it. Uh, it was actually really easy to find because I happened into a ravine that basically had exactly what I was looking for. And that was pretty nice. And then... <clears throat> After I found the ravine, um, I started kind of coming across those lava monsters again. I did learn a very valuable trick with the lava monsters. If you get them wet, they turn into like obsidian and then they're not dangerous anymore. Um, yeah, so basically I think they can just hit you, but I didn't even get hit by one of them when they were like that. They were super easy to kill. They weren't shooting fireballs or anything like that. So that was kind of cool. But I also found this weird area. It was a whole bunch of like green clay. Um, well, the terracotta as they call it now, the hardened clay. And then I also found some slime box. So I've got some slime blocks. I don't know what that area is, but I do want to go check it out eventually. Because um, <clears throat> I wasn't planning on seeing it. I was just going down to get more of this stuff. As you can see, I've got like almost two stacks now. And then I did go get some more demonic wills with our snares because we're going to need those for today's episode. So the first thing I want to do is get going on the beneath portal. And uh, yeah, I was just looking at it right here. So... Basically, everything is pretty simple. I went over to the biome across the river over there because there was uh, some dark oak trees over in the root forest. And I did get some of the dark oak to make the dark oak fence gate. I now have the demonic wheel. We've got the monolith stone. I do have gunpowder and cold dust is the only thing I don't have and I need to start that up. I think I've got one piece of coal in here. I do. Charcoal. Hopefully, I can use that to make cold dust. Uh, if we put you in the grindstone, no, it makes charcoal pieces. How do I get the dust? Um, coal dust. It has to be coal. And it has to be in a quartz grindstone? No. Hold on, here's coal dust too. In a squeezer, in the... Okay, so coal in the... I wonder if charcoal works. I mean, that would be in the recipe, right? It would say that. Well, I have coal. I have coal up here in my uh, smell trees or whatever you call them, the melters. So I can grab a piece of coal from here. I'm going to try the charcoal first. I am going to try the charcoal first just to see if it works. Because if it does, cool. If it doesn't, no big deal. You know, no harm, no foul. But it's good to kind of test all this stuff out and kind of see. I'm getting my nutrition up pretty darn quickly with these sandwiches, which is nice. Um, as you can see, I've got two and a half new hearts, and I just now noticed that, as I said, that I've got that. Um, I wasn't aware that I'd actually uh, acquired those. Is it going up? Okay, it is going up. So let's see what we get from the charcoal. I would think we would get charcoal, you know, coal dust as well. 
But if not, life goes on. Coal dust? Charcoal dust. Okay. Um, I'm going to put the coal in too because I have a feeling that that's not going to count as the same thing. All right, so the charcoal dust, or not the charcoal dust, sorry, the coal dust. We'll see what we get here. Yeah, I do apologize if I'm breaking away. Um, my office keeps calling me. <laughs> and it just so happens that it's connected to my computer, so I don't know if that's popping up on the display or not, so I keep pausing, um, possibly having to edit it out. So, uh, Okay, so we've got coal dust, we've got charcoal dust. It looks like we've got all the ingredients. Right now we just have to make the beneath portal. So let's go ahead and put these two away real quick. Well, let's put you away. I'll hold on to you. I'll get all the the items that we need. I think it was four monolith stone. Let's see what that was. Beneath. It is. Does this switch or is it just charcoal dust? Just coal dust. Okay. So four monolith stone. That that. Uh, we got to make a gate with the demonic. Uh, I've got that working at the moment. Um, I need one of these. And then we can go make the fence gate. I've got the wood being chopped up. So I just want to make sure I have all the items to get the center block done. And then we will be good to go. So let's go grab a little bit of you right here. There we go. And then I can go make that fence gate. I know the recipe's changed. It changed a while ago and I always seem to forget it, but I think this is the fence gate recipe. No, that's the fence recipe. What's the fence gate recipe? It's the opposite. I, I don't know when that changed, but I swear it used to be like that. And then it was like just six sticks for the fence. I could have sworn that's what it used to be like. I mean, I might be completely wrong, but I could have sworn that's what it used to be. All right, so <clears throat> you, 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 and like that. All right, cool. So we've got all that. I can put the wood away because I don't need that at the moment. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's how many items there are, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. And now the center block. Now the center block should be pretty easy. Although I don't, I'm going to have to cast out the bronze. So we need to go make sure we haven't at that. I need to go make nine ingots of bronze, and then we can smelt that up. Because I can just do it in this one. There's no tin in it, so we should be able to do that. <clears throat> so I need a one, two, three. We'll just do it this way. Um, I'll make like four blocks of bronze, I guess. I guess that's the best way to do it. And go like this. Then I can put these all in the kiln. And make up that. Once I get nine ingots, I can guess I can melt them down. I'm not sure if there's a better way to do it. Because um, I don't think this makes alloys. Like, I don't think I can put tin in. I don't want to mess it up. I don't, I don't, I don't. So, oh, look at that. I've already got some bronze ingots in there. Apparently, I was already thinking about this. So, let's go ahead and put... Um, I don't know how many are in the hopper. I don't know how many I put in there. Let me take all these out, make sure I just separate nine. Um, there we go. And I'll put nine in there. Man. <laughs> There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll just put those all in there. Okay, there we go. And we'll put the bronze back in here. And then we're good to go. And the bronze is cooking up. Let me get some torches in here. I don't want anything spawning right now. So we'll just keep this area pretty well lit. I don't want to torch everything, but you know, sometimes it's just gonna happen. All right, cool. So then we'll have the bronze, we have the tin, we have the copper. Uh, bronze shouldn't be too long. How long does it take to cook up? A little bit, not a problem. Let's get going on the rest of the items though. So we need a pearl, which I can go smelt up real quick. Black dye powder, I don't think it's a problem. And then two blocks of coal. Um, and I, so I need 18 coal, which I can just take out of this guy right here. And we can go put that in the presser. Make that bad boy. Let's go make it daytime. I don't want to mess around with the nighttime and mobs. They're just, they're just so mean to me. 
So let's go ahead and switch over to daytime, go make some blocks of coal, and get this guy going. I'm excited. I am truly, truly excited to get started making progress and actually, you know, feeling accomplished a little bit. Um, I need two black dye powder, which I should have in here. Oh, I have one. Really? I'm going to go find another, another black flower of sorts. Are you already hooked up? Which one? You're hooked up to this. I need you over on the presser. So let us... I should have left my hammer. Uh, we'll put you in there. We'll take you. Come here, you. Make yourself useful over here. Do your thing. Press up that coal. And let's go find a black flower so that I can crush that up and make another black dye. Um... It's blacker lotuses. I know I've got some on a hillside over here. I remember seeing them earlier. Um, I'm pretty sure I can crush up an ink sack too. Oh, you know what? That's what we can do. I know you can crush up an ink sack to get the black dye, right? Um, you, black dye. Um, yes, I can do an ink sack. Okay, cool. So let's go get an ink sack because I know I've got tons in my fishing trap as well. I think I just got some up in my storage box up there. The, I feel so slow. I'm so slow when I'm not around the house and I don't have that speed three burst on just going from point A to point B takes for this is sprinting by the way in case you were wondering I'm sprinting right now this is normal speed it's so slow all right and I need to swap you out as well all right so ink sacks are you over here yeah there we go so 20 ink sacks so we'll crush some of those up for the black powder and while I'm at it, I should probably... Oh, I can't get it through there. I was trying to reach into this chest, but that was the wrong window. Um, you <clears throat> put the strainer on so you keep doing your thing. I don't know how much longer I'll be using these, but if I ever need protein, if I ever need fish, I've always got it covered. There we go. And they're providing me with some useful items, the sand, the gravel, all that stuff. If I ever need some, I always know there's some in there, so that's good. And the coal should be done, and then I can go throw uh, the horse over here on this guy. So I got some charcoal in there. Um, let's do just three of these for right now. I don't need a lot, and I don't want to waste my uh, ink sacks in case I need them later. But I'm figuring I might need more. Why do you always do that? Get over here. I swear it's it's. I don't know what's up with these leads. The leads just disappear <laughs> from time to time. And so like, you'll see the horse just standing there, but there's no lead connected to him, but it actually is connected. So I haven't quite figured that one out. They seem to break their leads all the time. Okay, cool. So now I've got two of those. And now the pearl, we gotta go make the pearl, which is super, super simple, smelt that up. And I'm actually going to need two pearls because one of those is going to make the apprentice orb and that's going to get us into uh, most of the what we need to do today. Okay, so we're going to need what 24 of these. Right, there we go. And then I'm going to need some andesite or I think a stone can work too. Um, so I'm going to need 12 of you, like so. So you guys go like that. You guys go like that. Did I do two too many? Oh, well. Life goes on. There we go. And we'll go smelt this guy up <coughs> and get that going. And then, yeah, then all we have to do is go make our uh, blood orbs or our, like our weak blood orb and our whatever. I think I can cook you in here. I think this works. Should. If not, I can always go put you in the first, but I'm pretty sure that works. We'll leave you there for a second. Come on, do your thing. Do your thing. Okay. I'm trusting that you don't work, but I know you should work. And I just so happen to have two pieces left, so that's awesome. All right. Get these going, and... That was pretty much it, right? <clears throat> the two blocks of coal I just made, the blocks I've got, these two. So it's just this guy left is the apprentice orb. So we got to get going on uh, blood magic today. So I don't know if I even... Oh, I need a tier two altar, which means I need to get up to the tier one, which means I need to go stone. 
If I remember correctly, it's stone to make that guy. Oh, um, with the slates and all that stuff. Let me grab you. No, not you. You is what I need. There we go. Let's got my two blocks of coal. Two of the. Okay, cool. Now we've got pretty much everything we need. This is this is running pretty smoothly. This is running pretty smoothly. I like it. So we're running, running, running. Now we just gotta go make our apprentice orb. So I think I have to make the weak one first. Let's let's see this. Okay, so um, orbs. I need this guy. So this is a tier two altar with the Corellian pearl, right? So how do I get the tier two altar? Um, I believe that is with. What are they called? Runes? These guys right here. Blank runes. So it's... Is it smooth stone? I think it's smooth stone. A whole bunch of unfamiliar items. Can I can I do this with stone? There's so many items. I'm pretty sure I can. And then two blank slates. And I'm going to need eight of them. So I'm going to need 16 blank slates. Which is done with stone. So let's grab 16 of these. And I don't know if I can hop her in or not, but we're going to try. Um, let me grab some planks. Do I have any planks on me? Okay, I don't need the gravel. I don't need... I'm just going to clear my stuff out here. These chests are all starting to get full. I need better chests. Um, I don't need you. I've got you and you. Sand can get put away. I don't remember picking that stuff up, but whatever. And clay. Oh, that's right. I was making grout. That's why I had those on me. Okay. Um... I don't need... Can I just break you down? Will that break down? Yeah, okay. Then I can put you back in there like that. Not you. Put you back in there like that. Okay. So, I think I've got everything. I think. And planks. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the chest. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can take you like that. Right? Am I doing this right? Am I going to be able to hopper these items in or not i don't know what we're about to find out so we can see if we can hopper in the to make the slates <clears throat> so i just moved the table up into here for right now totally temporary but i just kind of wanted to no you're supposed to be the next one up i think i think well let's see if i put you there and i put the stone right there yes okay it works Okay, it's pumping them all in. That may not be a good way to do it. I don't know. I mean, I guess if it keeps... If I provide enough blood for it to do it... I need to be able to like restrict it to one at the time. I remember Blood Utils or one of the other mods... Um, allowed you to like put one item in at a time... I remember having this issue before where the hoppers would like put all the items and so you could do it but you'd have to need a lot of blood in your tank to get it be done like this I don't know if that's the case now I guess I could just sit here and make sure I provide enough blood for all 16 of these slates but I don't know if that tank's going to run out at any point and then we have to start over that it upset me but it seems to be a decent amount of blood in there. So, we'll see. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can provide enough blood to keep the tank relatively full. And I just want to make sure I don't kill myself. I have killed myself with blood magic so many times. And then you get this soul thing that basically says you can't freaking survive, so... Um, <clears throat> like you can't do spells or something like that or you can't donate blood or something to that effect so going through all my food but yeah my nutrition is going to be up pretty good see vegetables okay let's switch these over and we can get grains up as well <laughs> so there's a benefit to doing blood magic kind of just like using the millstone is I get to keep eating and get all my nutrition up which gives me extra hearts which is a good thing um, and even fruit I can add fruit into the mix here too because I can always do like one of these every now and then so 
keep filling that altar. I don't know if this is the smartest way to do it, but I do know it's going to work. Um, I just need basically 16 slates worth of blood. Um, and the blood is running low. Come on. Come on. Fill up, fill up, fill up. There we go. Cool. So, yeah, I mean, it did work. It's not the, the most expedient way to do it, but 16 slates. Cool. And then we can go back and grab some more stone. Horses everywhere on this island. I mean, we're not at a loss for horsepower, that's for sure. Looks like some apples are ready, too. Um, so we'll grab a little more stone over here. And what else did I need? Oh, I need the orb. Um, so I need a diamond, which I don't have, or blood, which I believe I can do with rotten flesh in one of the smelters. I think it's like four rotten flesh equals one uh, congealed blood or whatever. But let's sleep it off and let's go test this out now. Hopefully I'm right. I think I am. Um... Although I do get the slime blocks, although it's probably just blood. It's probably not like a slime block. Um, it's probably got to be congealed blood with 2,000 life essence. <clears throat> I think that would be 20 ticks on my life, I believe. So let's see. If I put in one of you, two, three, how many is this going to give me? Um... Show me the little, there we go. You, I can make you crafting. It takes 160 and I can make blood with this, which gives me 40. Yeah, so four of those. So I actually guessed right. That's awesome. I like when I get stuff right. And then we'll be able to make the first tier. So let's go donate some blood while we're doing this. Like so. Take you. A decent amount of blood there we go and as we do more and more of this my nutrition's going up and so it's all going to work out in the long run um well how did you get in there let me fill both of you up real quick it shouldn't have access in there should it it should like stop at the right amount or is it taking what's in the trough and pushing it over i don't know let's see you fill is it filling this one and then taking what's in the trough and adding to it? Is that what's happening there? I don't know. But I do need to make a casting table. Can I make a casting table? I can't even make the casting table. So how am I going to make... Hold on. Yes, now that I'm thinking about it, before I take that block out, I'm going to make sure that little partial ingot worth right here isn't in there anymore so I don't have to fill that back up you and you and then we'll put you right back that right okay so do I need hold on let's see uh orb I need to make you I can make you through crafting how do I make in shield okay that's four of those or I can cast four of those into a bay okay so I just need um, 16 total rotten flesh. That's, that's doable. So I just have to make the block and then I can shrink the block down into four of those. I can do that. So let's see, I need 12 more. Okay, cool. And then we'll get that blood and that'll be super easy. So you get these 12, you do your thing. And then... I think that's what I needed to make the rune, right? That's the rune is with the orb, two of those and six stone. I need eight, so eight times six is, I don't math very good, eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Okay, so 48 stone. Ha, huh, look at that, there's a stack of 40. Let me put you back, because I had 48 stone right there. And then I just need the orb. How you doing? You're getting there. You're getting there. And yeah, so I'm pretty much just waiting on that stuff to smelt up. I don't know how long it's going to take, but 
not too long at all. So let's look at what else we can do. I think this, this is literally it. Like I'm kind of at an end pass here because everything else is pretty much done other than summoning, summoning the boss, Baycock, uh, via a totemic ceremony to defeat him to acquire his powerful bow and unlock ranged combat. That may not be a bad idea to look into. We've got a minute on the flesh. Let's go take a look and just see what it takes to do that ceremony. Um, the totemic book is in here, I believe. This is it right here. I think that's the right one. Yes. So, ceremonies? Chimes of death, I wonder. Um, yeah, the chimes of death is a ceremony that will summon the spirit known as Baycock. Do not attempt the ceremony unless you are well equipped for combat. Baycock is an evil spirit who appears as a skeleton-like figure. He ruthlessly hunts warriors and is a master of archery. Attacking hit with invisible arrows, he paralyzes his prey and devours their livers. Uh, if you manage to defeat Baycock, you will be able to get his bow, among other loots. With Baycock's bow, you will be able to fire invisible and paralyzing arrows. They will only be visible to you. His bow is stronger and more easily enchantable than a mundane bow. So we need the eagle bone whistle and the wind chime to start it. Um, it means probably gonna have to make quite a few wind charms to get a lot. I'm gonna need the eagle bone whistle and the other one. That might be a minute. I mean, we could probably do it, but I we've all seen me fight just regular mobs. I can't see myself taking on a boss anytime soon. That just seems absurd. I'm like the worst PvP -er ever. Okay, cool. So now we can make you. But at least we can get the beneath done. And I don't know much about the beneath. I'm from what I read, there's similarities to like the deep dark, and that's basically all I know about it. Um, there's like you know you get the darkness uh, damage and stuff like that. So I'm gonna need to make quite a few torches. But other than that, I really don't know too much about it. So, we'll see. Um, where's my pearl? We'll put you in there. Oh, no, it's not the plural. It's the congealed blood. Yes. There we go. And then once I get the the rune, or not the rune, um, the orb, I can make the runes for this and put them around. Do I want to? Yeah, I guess I'll just do it in here for right now. It's totally doable. So it's eight of these. I guess I could look into making some speed runes and stuff like that too, if possible. I don't know. Um, but we'll see. So come on, come on, give me my orb. How long is this going to take? See, speed runes would be good. Um, that's just a regular rune with more blank slates and some sugar. That could be something I can do, definitely do off camera. Um, come on, you got it. You can do it. Let's get me my orb. There you go. All right, cool. So orb done. Blank runes go. Oh, you don't stack really. Oh, because it can't stack extra. Um, well, that's just one at a time, apparently. Not a problem. We got eight of these to make. And I guess since we're playing on a single player server, I'm okay doing this. I rarely ever connect these to myself just because people can manipulate you and hurt you and do mean things with them. So I usually don't bond it to myself uh, if I don't have to, if it's not something I'm using for my own. So now we're going to take this and I think it was 5,000 to make this guy. 5,000. Okay. So we're probably going to have to donate quite a bit more. Um, so let's get my health up a little bit. And I wonder, you know what? Let me sigil. Can I make the sigil? Uh, divination sigil, that's it. So alchemy array. Oh, see, this is different. This is not what it used to be. Um, ash, blank slate, divination sigil. Alchemy array. This thing? Hellfire Forge? Can I make that? I can make that. Okay. Um, just to start making the divination. So stone, tin, bronze, and copper. 
we can do that real quick and get the divination sigil. That way I can see how much is in there while it's doing stuff. Um, how are we doing up here? So it was two tin, right? Um, to make the alchemy array, arcane ashes. Wait, hold on. So how do I make this? Ashes used to draw an alchemy circle. I'm so confused right now. Okay, there's the Hellfire Forge, which is I can get the ashes. Um, and that's with a whole bunch of unfamiliar items. Demonic Will. Okay, we can do that. Coal, we've got white dye, gunpowder. And then I can use ash in the Hellfire to get the ashes. But then, what's the alchemy array? Arrayed bricks. Well, this is new stuff I don't know about. So apparently I can't make the divination sigil. Um, that kind of stinks. But I do need... Did I make a bronze block? Or... No, I made the bronze ingots. Oh, I just didn't cast you. Why are you not going? Oh, because you're not turned on. There you go. Do your thing. All right, cool. So we got the blocks for that. <clears throat> um, now I just have to go make the other sigil, which just means I got to go don donate more blood. So no divination sigil for right now. I'm just... Give me my fruit back. Give me my fruit back. Um, I need to make more donations. And that looks like a decent amount of blood in there. I ain't going to lie. Let's go ahead and put you in and start you cooking. And we'll come down and get the block while we're just waiting. And I think we'll get this portal to the beneath. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about going to the beneath because I've never been. I don't even really know the mod. I think the mod itself is the beneath. And uh, when I looked it up, let's, let's see. The beneath is the name of the mod. But if you see, there's nothing else. Like, it's the only thing. It's just that block is all that's available. I really don't know. I don't know what to expect. I mean, I'm up for some fun. Don't get I don't get it twisted. I am up for some fun. But I have no idea what to expect there. So <coughs> I'm figuring things are going to kill me because I am really good at dying, as you guys know. There we go. So we got that. Now I can make you like that. Got everything we need. And now I've got everything for the ritual. Cool. I guess I'll go ahead and attach that to myself. And so we'll get our health all the way back up. How are we doing on everything? Grain's good. Fruits are good. We're doing pretty good on nutrition. So that's nice. Um, I just need to go make myself some more torches. So we have plenty of torches for uh, when we get there. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure it's like a dark area. And I don't want to get killed there. Um, and I'm not sure. I might just put the portal over by the hunting dimension portal for right now. Seems like as good a place as any to put it. But let's head over and set up our ritual. And see how that's rocking and rolling over there. So. Let's see if I remembered how this went. I've got all the items on me. So, blank teleporter. You go in the middle. And model the stone. I'm going to balance them out. I just remember something about these being balanced being a better thing. I don't know if I'm just making that stuff up as I go, but I'm pretty sure there was something about things being balanced. Um, will right there. And finally, uh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? The defense gate. All right. And... Where did I put my Necronomicon? Did I hang it back up? I didn't remember hanging it back up, but I very likely could have. But I like the fact that I do got four extra hearts. Um, that's a good thing. Also, I need to make a brand new set of bronze armor since it's the best armor I can rock right now. Did I put you back up? I did put you back up. Okay, cool. Let's grab the Totempedian because I don't need you right now. And let's go get this portal. 
Oh, progression. I love it. I'm so excited. And I know I probably don't sound all that excited, but I truly am. It's just I've been grinding out a lot of stuff off camera. And so it's like when it's time, it's time. Let's put you back on there and shift right click. I always back up because I don't trust any of these things. Although this one didn't seem to be so bad. Just a little bit of black smoke. And I think it was like a lightning bolt and that was it. Yeah. A little bit of fire. No big deal. And there we go. We got our portal to the beneath. Awesome. I think we'll go make some armor, some torches, and see if we can go find some aquamarine and some black quartz. I, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. That's the biggest thing is not knowing. Like, I don't know what is there. Um, we're going to put you right here. Because I think all it is is just a right click block. Like so. And we'll go make some torches. So I have plenty of those. And we'll go make some bronze armor. And yeah, because my armor is like beat to poop. So we'll make a, make a brand new set of bronze armor. I'm actually going to go ahead and dump this set to in here just because why not put it in there um, and go clean out my inventory as well as make some torches um, I did whoa, I did make some charcoal up um, that's over there and I just need to make some stone sticks as well as where's that stuff at these right here am I actually out of them I've been throwing this stuff away for so long I think I may have actually finally run out of plant twine. I think it may have finally happened. Although I know I've got some on the other side. Let's go. Let's get rid of what I don't need. Um, I'm going to put the orbs in here. I consider those tools. Uh, blood orbs or blood whatever you can. No. Um, whatever. I'll just put you in there for right now. Twine, uh, wood and dirt can go in there. I guess I'll put you in here for right now. And yeah, let's let's go make up some torches. I believe I've got some more twine sitting out in my the same place where the coal's at. I believe I put a whole bunch in there one day when I was just getting stuff out of my inventory. I did. How much do I have? Twenty nine of them, plenty. And the coal is over here 36 of those cool and stone is in here so i can make some stone instead of wood so let's do this so there's that how do i make stone torches i know there's a recipe for them um how to make those oh i gotta mill those down well let's just make some wood torches then not spending the time milling those down that would just take way too long. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, I'm so slow. Come on, speed up. Come on, where's my speed boost? There it is. Like, Give me my speed boost. Uh, sticks. Let's go ahead and do a full stack. There we go. And so, torches. Like so. That's not a full stack. That's a half stack. Apparently, you only get two per. So, let's do another 16. And there we go. Almost a full stack. Well, I was probably short a material or two. Uh, can I put you back in there? No, I can't. It's going to be time to start collecting that twine again. Throwing it all away. All right. What don't I have? What do I have in here that I don't need? I don't need flaked bone. So that way I can put this charcoal away. And we will go make ourselves some nice bronze armor. All shiny. Um, I've got 20. I need 24. And I still have my hammer on me. So that's good. And this just takes a while. And yeah, this is my process right here. Just put one down, hit it. Put one down, hit it. And eventually we'll get them all built. Make ourselves some armor. And then we'll head to the beneath. I think this might be another death for me. I wouldn't be surprised by it at all. Give me another hammer. There we go.
but if I can find any aquamarine like really really quickly that would be awesome uh, I've got a crafting table right here let me, let me put my hammer back I don't want to carry that around with me and bronze do 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 doop derp derp really come on derp derp there we go some derpy bronze armor with my awesome stone sword because I have no better weapons. <laughs> there's there's got to be better weapons sometime soon, right? It's got to happen sometime soon, right? Um, why do I... <gasps> there's the Corellium Pearl I was looking for earlier. I put it in here. The one from last episode. I was like, why do I... I've used two of these. Why do I have one? It was in here. Stupid pearl. All right. I think it's about that time. It's about that time to go venture to a new dimension. This is kind of funny that, I mean, magic's cool and all, but I, I'm feeling the fact that we're like in the stone age here, or wood age or whatever age we're in, being able to travel to the hunter's dimension and now traveling to the beneath. Oh, you know what? Let's get some building blocks just in case I end up on some like random portal somewhere. <laughs> where I'm nowhere near anything. Let's get ourselves a couple stacks of cobble just to play it safe. Let's grab like six stacks. I have five stacks, whatever. And make sure I've got enough food on me to get by. Let me grab some more berries just to make sure I've got plenty of food. I've got a whole bunch of pork and pork dinners and I got a couple of tasty sandwiches I think we should be good at least for a minute I, I'm nervous I, I'm actually procrastinating that's I, I can't even lie that's what this is this is procrastinating I don't want to go and get killed as much as I do it on a regular basis and I obviously look like the worst Minecraft player ever when I do it I just don't want to get killed is it shift click is it with a bare hand do I have to stand on it? Jump on it? What do I... Oh. Whoa! Oh my goodness. This sounds evil. Okay. Okay. A little laggy at the very beginning. It's got to load the chunks. Okay, at least I'm in a room. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a room with torches. That's a good sign. Um... It's, it seems very similar to the deep dark. I'll say that much. Um, not as many torches in the room, but I... Okay, so we have to go up to get Aquamarine. So, here we go. I'm a little bit nervous, I can't lie. Um, actually, a lot of bit nervous. But this we're definitely going to continue to record because this is something totally new i've never been to the beneath before and so we're about to see some craziness i have a feeling oh what's that black quartz oh what in the world is that what in the world is that did that accomplish that task? Oh no, well we did got here, so now search for Aquamarine and then something right on. Begin keeping records of your knowledge on parchment. It requires the bark from mulberry trees which spawn out in the world. Oh, and the mechanical power, it's on the horizon. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm excited right now. This is so scary sounding. So we're pre we must be pretty deep because it says you got to go to the bottom. I wonder how well you guys can hear that. That is so creepy. I never know how well the game sounds coming through on the recording, but that sounds so creepy. But this means does I have to go way up? Like I don't even know what like the the Y levels and stuff are here. So. Um. Oh, this is this is very open out here. This is very open out here. I don't want to go outside. There's a shadow right there. Where 
Where'd the shadow go? What? What was that? What is going on? This is so creepy. I want to like lower my sounds. It looks like there's a creeper over there in the distance. This is so creepy. What is a shadow and is it going to kill me? Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit trapped in. Uh, stay away. Stay away, mobs. Okay, you just seem like vanilla mobs. I mean, there's nothing special to you guys. Stay away. Stay away. All right, I don't want to mess with mobs. All right, and that creeper's over there. So where is the aquamarine? Is it up for aquamarine? That is so creepy, you need to stop. I just kinda wanna venture around for a second and figure out what's going on here. I mean, I've got the black quartz, which is a good start. I should have probably marked on the map where we started, but I hear skeleton. Oh, it's a trump skeleton. I'm not worried about it. Um, where am I going to find this aquamarine? Heck, I'm even wondering, can I, I should be able to mine it with my, my pickaxe because I haven't been able to upgrade. What the f... Where do I go? Like, how do I get up? How much... I got so much stone on me. Let's just go straight up. Like, frigate. Let's just go straight up in the air. Oh, shush. Get away from all the mobs. There we go. I'm searching for aquamarine. Okay, so this is, I don't know where to go. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe we'll just keep going straight up. I don't know. I mean, it said go up to the top for aquamarine. So let's, whoa, let us do that. Um. I don't know where to go or what to do. Hey, look at my torch. I put a torch down. It's right there. Why am I taking damage? I mean, am I taking like darkness damage? Is that what I'm taking? I don't know. I'm standing next to a torch. There we go. Okay, and once again, I'm taking damage. Why am I taking damage? I'm standing next to a torch. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to probably just kind of sprint through this. Because I don't know exactly what's going on here. And if I find some... Oh, here we go. Right as I say that... Oh, screw you. Okay. Let's keep looking. Make sure that hole's really obvious. And let's find some aquamarine. I don't want to have to, like, strip mine for it. I'm figuring I shouldn't have to. 
like the way it says it says just go up to the top. I don't know if this is the top or not, but we're gonna keep looking. I don't even know what aquamarine looks like, so I don't even know what it is. <clears throat> Can I go higher? Is it possible to go higher? I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. It's just stone, dirt, andesite, dorite, granite. Like, it's... I'm not seeing anything useful. And I'm out of torches. That was 64 torches already? Hold on. No, you guys leave me alone. I'm just going to go collect some torches. So I can go a little higher. All these torches I put down really aren't serving a purpose right now, so... You guys leave me alone. No, stop taking damage. Stop, stop, stop. And we're just going to try to go higher out in the open. I've got plenty of building blocks, so that's not an issue. Where about the torch? There it is. All right, collecting all my torches back. And we're just going to go up from here. That's what we're going to do. Here we go. I'm figuring the aquamarine's got to be around here somewhere. It said all the way to the top. So, let's go all the way to the top. Okay, there's like another shelf right there, a ledge, I guess. So, let's keep going. Yeah, there's like there's like no materials here. It is just stone and like vanilla blocks. That's all it is. There's, there's nothing of use here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Do we just keep going up? So there's a pillar right there. Um, I say we just keep trying to go up. It's the, the best advice I have for myself. It's just keep going up. Okay. Here we go. I didn't think that 64 torches were going to go so fast, though. Although, if I can just find a little bit of this aquamarine, that would be awesome. I'm just going to kind of fight through the damage for a second. It doesn't seem to hurt me all that often. So, let's take a look around. Um, it looks like there's another ledge right there, so let's try to get up to that one. Let's do this. And keep going. I don't know if this is the smartest way to do it or the dumbest way to do it, but it's my way of doing it. Okay, so there's another ledge right here. And there's so many mobs. All right, let's go hunt for some aquamarine out this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all shut up. And let's eat ourselves another tasty sandwich. And then we'll move you down here. I want to just get close to the walls and see if there's any visible ores like on the walls. I'm thinking that might be my best bet. Wait, what was that down there? Oh, that's a mob way down there. Shush, you guys. I ain't got no issues with you. I don't even want to even see you guys. I'm not bothering you. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm all the way at the wall. Okay. Still, just nothing. There's nothing. Come here, torch. I'm down to my last two torches. I did not think it was going to take this many dang torches to get stuff done. Let me go stand in the light over here. I can't tell if that's another ledge right there. Let's see. Let's let's go and try it out. Because now i got to go down all of this to get back, too. 
So all these pillars I'm going to have to tear back down. Um, how high do we get? This feels like I might be at the roof. This kind of feels like I might be at the roof. Although there's an opening right here. So let's go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Let's go over this way. Um, where's that opening? It's right there. All right, let me put this torch here. <laughs> Just collecting torches. Just going to get my way through doing one torch at a time. Heading back over here. Okay, so it wasn't actually an opening. It was just a little bit higher. I am not seeing anything of use. Kind of killing me. Kind of killing me. How's my nutrition doing? Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we've only got a couple minutes left in the episode. What I might do is just keep hunting. Uh, maybe just like pillar straight up and... See if I can get all the way to the roof and see if I can find some aquamarine up there. I don't know. Like, it said go to the top and find aquamarine. That's what I'm trying to do. Where's my hole? There it is. That's my hole, right? Yes. So let's go up and see. All right. So, yeah. So we'll pause right here. And uh, once I find some aquamarine, uh, we'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm getting back in. I think I actually saw some. I'm hoping for the best right now. I actually went up just a little bit higher right after I stopped recording <clears throat> and hit bedrock up on top of the ceiling. And so when I hit that, then I was like, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, if I kind of mine sideways or whatever, I'll find a hole. And I kind of came out in an area somewhere over there. I think I was over there. And um, so I'm kind of being hopeful right now that maybe I can find some out here without having to strip mine. That's kind of what I'm going with right now. So we're going to kill this dude right here. Their health is a little bit higher than regular zombies. Not too drastically bad, but still a little bit higher. And let's get an extra torch here. I lost one of them in the process. So I'm like down to two torches. Or I was down to one torch. And... Now I'm just hoping I can find some aquamarine around here somewhere. <clears throat> I'm literally just one torch at a time. Grab a torch, move forward. Grab a torch, move forward. And hoping I can find some... Like around here? I don't know. I'm not seeing anything other than like cobble and stuff. Or not cobble, but just like smooth stone and stuff. I'm not... I mean, I'm not even seeing the black quartz anymore. So maybe black quartz is low and aquamarine's high, but I'm not seeing it up. Oh, oh, that is that it? Let me grab that other torch real quick. Um, is that it? Is that it? Please be it. Please be aquamarine. Good, we got it. And it looks like I can mine it. Cool. Search for all right. Cool. So achievement complete. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this. I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but I'm not really feeling like continuously searching for it right now just because well, I'm like no torches and basically nothing else on me but we've got that let us kind of head back and oh you 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 I'm just gonna go like this boop boop yeah you can't come bother me and we're going to dig ourselves all the way back down to the portal. Oh, hopefully I can find that portal because I didn't really do a good job of marking it. Um, and then when I get back to the overworld, uh, we'll kind of wrap up things and see what else we're going to do. So we'll be back as soon as I get back to the portal. I just want to show you guys this while I'm doing it. Um, apparently, if you right click, you place torches. And so if I hold left and right click as I'm mining down, it just keeps the path lit for me as I break each individual block. It places the next torch. Um... I don't know if that's a designed mechanic or if I just started doing something really funny, but just want to kind of show you guys that, that I'm just kind of automatically placing torches, so I'm okay with it. All right, come here, Mr. Zombie. So yeah, so anyways, <laughs> once we get back down, uh, we'll, 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 we'll regroup for the end of the episode, so we'll be right back.
All right, I can't lie. I was a little bit concerned that I wasn't going to find my way back, but I did. And so uh, you need to be at the same Y level as the teleporter. Oh, okay, cool. So heading back, we've got a new world to go explore, but um, I don't see myself going back there until I 100% need to, because that is just a bad, bad place. And let's go sleep off the night and kind of figure out what we're going to be doing in next episode. The Beneath is done. We've got it. Search Rock Marine's done. Now I'm believing I have to go smelt to get the... His uses is in the grindstone. Or the millstone. But let's go put it in the grindstone and we'll get a little bit of that and then we'll check out what else we got to do for today. So let's get these out of the way. Some black quartz. Um, you're already hooked up to the grindstone, aren't you? Yes, you are. Get to work, homie. Get to work. Get down and get to work. Come on, man. Yeah. Get to work. Get to work. Why aren't you working? Come on, go. You were like stuck. Okay. So let's get a little bit of this black quartz. And that should be mission accomplished in just a second. There it is. Can't tell if I'm on it or not. There we go. Crush black quartz. Oh, no, no, no. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That's not what we needed. We needed black quartz. Do I smelt it? How do I get the black quartz? Wait, what's crafting? No, that's just that. Black quartz or hold on. Hold on. Travel to the bottom of the beneath the dimension and find black quartz. I did. It's in my hand. I've enabled rotation lock. Any blocks you place will be oriented in the direction you were looking. Press K to change it or reset it. Okay, I just, I don't want it on. I don't know what any of that means, but whatever. Okay. Um, so how do I get black quartz? Q-U-A-R-T. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, new stuff. Hopefully faster stuff. Mining level diamond. Mining speed 6.5. Oh, now how do we get you? Oh, smelting that stuff. Okay, cool. Never mind. you do your thing. You go back to that. <laughs> Let me get another piece because once I get it, I'm going to make a new pick and start speeding up this process. We're going to make some black quartz stuff. Um, and then armor five, armor six. Three, three, what is all this? Two, four, okay. So this could be an upgrade too. Okay. We're going to need more of this stuff. We're going to need more. Let's go smelt this stuff up though. <clears throat> and then we've got improved armor. That's awesome. Now, now, now we're seeing some progression. I'm, I'm happy about a pick and a sword that is uh, stepping it up, right? Shush. And I don't have any charcoal. Charcoal's up here. I know where that stuff's at. And we'll get that smelted up real quick into some black quartz. In here. We'll just take all of you and do this with you. There we go. The unrendered 48 pieces of tiny charcoal. Or whatever it's called. Is it called tiny charcoal? Charcoal pieces. All right, give me the black quartz. Let this be accomplishment. Oh, look at this. Um, hmm. Oh, that's cool. It's like an all-in-one tool. No, I can. No, that I love the thought of that. Okay, cool. Boop. Done. So now, 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 <clears throat> we're gonna be looking at. Um, Parchment and then a book of some sort and not get into mechanical power for the grindstone and stuff oh, or the millstone that will be outstanding. I am so excited for that because well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I, I had a lot of fun. I love I love the integration of the mods like today. I had to do abyssal craft. I had to do um, blood magic. I had to use a little of my tinkers. 
Um, I, I, I like how it's all incorporated and working together. And then we went to the Beneath and the Quartz actually comes from Actually Editions, but this Aquamarine comes from Astral Sorcery, which I know absolutely nothing about. So that'd be cool to like kind of start looking into that stuff. Uh, sounds like more magic, which is kind of cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun and it looks like we've got some more stuff to do in our next episode. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I'm out of here. Peace.